All right. And like I said, I'm still learning about this thing. So um, just briefly, I got in a little late. You were mentioning uh, Bellevue Avenue. Correct. So Bellevue Avenue has two major projects this year. One of it is paving. We're paving all of Bellevue this summer. The other project is a pretty significant stormwater, wastewater, water line, uh, and paving project. And that's right near uh, Grand Avenue? Correct, yeah. It's, it's probably it's several hundred feet of work. Um, we put that project out to bid, uh, but nobody bid on it. Uh, so we adjusted some details in the project, uh, sort of increased the scope and the, the scale of what the price it would be, uh, and it's back out to bid now. So our hope is that somebody bids on it, and so that the paving component of Bellevue can be uh, coupled with the construction project so they're done in coordination instead of doing all of the paving except for that section and leaving that section like that. Is there a chance that it's going to take so long that you can't get the paving done by the closure of the paving plants in October? We will do camera on. It should be okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. So, do, yeah, do you want to ask a question again? That's fine. Okay. So if we don't get anybody to bid on the project, we will do, at, at a minimum, all the other Bellevue paving. Um, and it's possible that we will figure out how to do the paving uh, so that there's still construction in the future, but it minimally disturbs the, the uh, pavement that we got done. Okay. You mentioned that there is uh, matching funds available for owners to uh, repair sidewalks. Yes, this is a big deal. So this was um, uh, city council appropriated in the 2023 budget um, money for a sidewalk repair program. Um, and so we are launching that program this week. You'll have details uh, on the website, Facebook, that sort of thing. Um, and the, the essence of it is there'll be two thousand dollars, up to three thousand dollars if you include curb and gutter, so that people can do repairs on um, diamond basically sidewalks or public uh, right away. Um, and so if, the, if it's a um, four thousand dollar project, we'll match up to uh, two thousand. We'll contribute two thousand, and then if because it's like, curb and gutter, we'll drop another thousand. So there'll be an application process it. online. Right. Contractors will work with make a significant difference. <laughs> <commitment. laughs> So this is money coming from the city, that's, not just a grant yeah, out there? That's correct, yeah. It was originally, hey, buddy, it was originally American Rescue Plan Act money that council then appropriated uh, to um, do this project specifically. All right, and two other items. You mentioned uh, homeless shelter. Yeah. There may be so we, uh, city council, also appropriated in the 2023 to budget money uh, to go towards uh, the homelessness problem in the community, and we've been working with the community action on an MOU. Uh, same thing with commissioners. We worked with them on as well. Our funding uh, is tied to the commissioner's funding, um, and when that MOU is complete. Uh, it'll provide community resources, homelessness resources. Um, community actually will provide it, but the county uh, and the city are, are providing a lion's share of funding for that. And this was at Salvation Army, but they are buying a property now? Yes, that's the plan. So you know how soon you might get a release information? Uh, I know that the, the, the location itself is not public yet, um, so that'll be in the hands of community action. We're, we're aware of the location, but uh, once community action um, um, I guess deems it permissible to release. It has to do with the sale and um, the location. So once they say it's permissible, they'll release it themselves. Actually, three questions, but Pepsi Building. Sure. So Pepsi Building, just a quick history on that is we acquired it. We did design work for it to be reconstructed to facilitate our water department, our sewer department, our general construction department, our street department, uh, the refuse truck. Yeah, that's right. It's already, yeah. Um, and so we have all the construction design work for that done. It's wash bays. It basically redesigns an old warehouse into something that is takes the place of a $10 million proposed building for us, and that was seven years ago. Um, the roof blew off that building during a storm about three months ago, and so that's right. Uh, and so when we were ready to bid that project several months ago, we had to add in a new roof, which is not like a roof on your house or mine. It takes a little bit more construction. Uh, design and so engineers have designed that and that should be going out to bid here within the coming weeks. So, do you know how the completion date I guess? No, not at all. I mean, so it, let's just say it was a bid tomorrow. Uh, we would award the bid within 30 days probably and then whoever bid on it would then start to work on it. There was a time when it was something like an 18 month lead time on something electrical uh, needed for that type of construction project. I've been told that that um, lead time is much less. So in an ideal scenario, you'd be under roof by 
uh, the winter but, um, of 2024, uh, late winter, but um, that seems ideal to me. I've learned that um, over the past several years, not to care. And you are losing your city engineer. City engineer, moving on. Um, so he served the city for five years. He's a utility director first, and he moved into the city engineer seat. Uh, did a great job for us. Um, the storm, uh, the, the wastewater treatment plant in particular, was some, something that he worked hard on, making sure that design got done. Um, and so he leaves a good legacy, and I wish him and his family well in North Carolina. <laughs> Dave Fisher. Dave Fisher? Yep. And how is this yes. plant going? Oh, man. When the uh, it is, it is underway. Uh, if you want to go down there with some video, it's pretty cool the progress that they're making. Uh, it's a long, long project. Uh, I think it's a couple years, uh, but they're moving quickly. I don't know. They, All right. I think that, um, Luke Feeney, Mayor so Chilokaki, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> because the amount of money...